How's it going, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last we left off, we were, uh, we got a call for help. And that's where we're going, is to help, uh, who's calling for help right now? There we go. Hey. hey, kid, you there? Ow. Hey, don't just stand there. Do something. What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me. Fine. Ow. Easy enough. Phew. Well done. That was close. Not that I couldn't handle myself, but that's beside the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Ho ho, I see. The Pecori, you say, and Vadi. Vadi's cursed someone? What? The sacred blade? And Link is telling him the story of what happened with Vadi, uh, looks like. Is that so? I see, I see, you know. You and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break a curse of Vadis. And you say that reforging the sacred blade can break his curse, eh? Well then you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Ezlo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Okay. What? Is there something on my face? Quit staring, it's rude. Wait, wait, I say. You walk so quickly. Too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you noticed I have no legs. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? If it isn't one thing, it's another. You're a troublesome boy. There. Now you can't possibly leave me behind. My, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. Much easier on me. You freeloader. Quit your squirming, can't you sit still? See? There. Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. Now, I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If you ever need my insight, press select and I'll be happy to help. Ah, such a hopeless child. Now we have Link's hat! And that's how he got his hat. Uh... Let's see... be right back I'm gonna look up my guide because I'm using a guide to find all the heart pieces that's all really is using for the heart pieces and whatnot so I'll be back okay we're back sorry about that rolling 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 hold on for a moment my boy we've stumbled across something important the world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Eh? Who are the Minish? Ah, yes. Silly me. Allow me to explain. You human... You, bleh? You humans call them Picori. Picori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyway... In, deep in the forest, they built the tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that, at first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? Well, yeah, it's just hanging out there, you know. Just like, I'm a stump, I'm just chilling. No, that stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. Uh-oh. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. You mean we get to be small? Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. Alright. Whoa! Whoa, buddy! This is some Alice in Wonderland type stuff. Oh, I forgot the muscles on the screen. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish! Now, aren't you glad you saved me? Yeah, but you made me small, you dingus! No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press R. But there's one thing you must know. Being minish size is full of dangers. Mirror portals at your normal size are bottomless swamps, swamps to diminish. 
and as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Fine. Okay, so we're small. I'm going up. Through the stumpy stump. Oh, man. Ah! Douche nozzle. There we go. Whee! Rolling, 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 going through the Minish Woods. Minish Village. There we go. Hmm, it appears we found the Minish Village. Pico Picari! Rip, rip, pickery, rip! I don't understand the words that are coming out of your mouth, man! I gather it's been quite some time since the last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now? Ah, yes, that was the language of the Minish. It is a little different from the dialect that I'm most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there's someone here who understands your language. We should look around. And now we have to find somebody who knows English. Okay, that, you're not it. Uh, rolling, rolling, rolling. Ooh, go up here. See what's up here. Ah, no help either, you son of a snitch. You son of a snitches. Hmm, I've never seen an outfit like yours before. Are you a human? Well, yeah, look, you know, I'm a cookery elf thing. Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Fastari. I watch the Abbey and, as well as the Shrines of the North. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? You could use their Jabberna. It will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the Barrow House just south of here. Alright. So we have to go to the Barrel House, apparently. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Whoa. To the south of where that guy is, okay. Uh, am I headed? Oh boy, stupid mouse. Sorry about that. No, no, no. Hang on. It must be here. It can't be uh, like outside. It must be here somewhere. It's not. I doubt it's, you know, out. There we go. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Over here. Ooh, puzzle. Ah, I screwed up. Darn it. Back again. There we go. Oh, Link! This must be the Jabberna Fistari told you about. Well, you better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. You ate the Jabberna, now you can understand the language of the Minish. Awesome. Now it's not all foreign to us, we can understand what the fudge you're saying. So you've eaten the Jabberna and you can understand us? The Elder said that humans can no longer see us as they once could. It's amazing that you could see us. Oh yeah, Ed, uh, I'm also taller than you too. You've heard of travelers who find a kinstone and get really lucky? Well, that's all thanks to items made by the Minish. You see, we thrive on making humans happy. It gives us energy. We, we only do it in secret. Ooh, sneaky sneaky. It's okay. Now... Hmm... Where do we go? There are so many monsters around these woods lately. The others said that even the shrine to the north is filled with monsters now. Okay. What do you have to say? 
If you want to reforge that sword, you will need the help of an expert smith. Master Malari and his seven apprentices can help you. They live in the mountains where they can find all the ore they need. I'm sure the elder, elder will tell you about him if you ask. So, okay, here we go. We got something. Now we have to go to the elder and get the sword forged. Up here? Let's see. Uh, here we go. Oh, you speak our language. It's been a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Ezlo. I shout this link. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we need to reforge the broken quarry blade. Ah yes, and you've come here now to have the blade reforged? If you want the blade reforged, you will need the four elements. There are the crystalline forms of the energies that fill our world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, give me your Mac. Mac? Map! I can mark where these elements can be found. Give me a Big Mac with some fries, a number three, quarter pounder with cheese. Man, I want some McDonald's. <laughs> the earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of Fistari's Abbey. Speak with Fistari, he will show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution. Evil, cr blah, 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 blah. Evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you found the earth element. So, okay, we have something to do. Here we go. We have to go to Fistari. I believe... Is he up here? Yeah. You wish to go to the shrine? Very well, this way. We beast... Vile beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it's quite dangerous. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Minish Woods. Okay. So, okay, we we'll just go up. Cool. Uh, here. So, okay, here we go. Oh, it's just okay. I don't think it's anything. Okay, continue on. Ho, deep wood shrine. So this would be the deep wood shrine the Minish Elder spoke of. He said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Hey, now, no reason to be afraid or anything. I'll be waiting right here. No, wait. What am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. You scaredy cat. Oh, we have to use R to lift. Okay. Ooh. Blah, blah, blah. Another heart. Always good. Can we break this? No? Okay. Ooh. There we go. Now we're in the Deepwood Shrine, and this is the first temple of the game, I believe. I could be wrong, though. So we need... <gasps> we need a key. Hmm, there's a locked door down here. See if you can find the key to open it. That's what I'm doing, Ezlo. Okay. Oh, switches, I see. Give me the key. You got a small key. Use the open doors. Blah blah blah. We know how small keys work. Open that. There we go. Beautiful. Oh! Can't touch this. Do you see that lever? I think you should be able to pull it. Just stand, Just stand in front of it and press R to grab it. Then down to pull. Let's do it. Go, hop, hop. And the mushroom, which does what? Oh, flings us across. Nice. Okay. Okay, there we go. Going up. Or, hang on. Ah, oh, maybe we do. Oh, wait a minute. No. Link. 
That's right. Well, we need to do. Uh, we do need to go here. Okay, here we go. I'm fried. Oh man. You son of a bitch. Fine. Wow, look at the size of that barrel. Oh, right. How silly of me. It's not big. We're just small. Damn Skippy. Okay. Oh. Oh, my. Go inside, see if... Well. Oh, yeah. Since it's a... Ow. Okay, here we go. Ba -da -da -da. <gasps> ah, I know what I need to do. Okay. Ah, oh, don't link. Don't jump off. Okay, there we go. Go like that. Oh no. Hang on. Get my puzzle solving skills. Ah. I messed up. Okay, hang on. It's okay. Boom. Hmm. There we go. There we go. And there you go. And there you go. Beautiful. Now, um, what? Hey, be careful, my lad. The bird just moved. Well, yeah, no shit. Okay. Ah, that's a little, uh, little dangerous. There we go. Okay. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so we do have to move it, I guess. Whoa. Dangerous! Fling across and. Okay, not long enough. Pause. Whoop! There we go. Off. Oh, right here. Here we go. We got the map! Letter rooms are when you visited the blinking rooms of the location. Press up or down to check different floors. Okie dokie. <gasps> There's a heart piece. How do we get that? Oh, maybe we can right now. Oh, come on. Don't do that to me. You tease. Stupid thing, come on. There we go. Whoop. Okay. Um, save. Doesn't hurt to save. Um, uh, actually, I think it's better if we just use the save state. Uh, let's see. I think I'll stop here for now, and then in the next episode, we'll continue on in the Deep Wood Shrine and get some get some good stuff yeah I think it's a good place to stop and we'll figure out what we need to get from here and continue on but in any case I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you all in the next one have a good one everybody this is Sonic Fan signing off